800 languages in one single city, 3 million people born outside the USA living today in New York City. Uh, that's cosmopolitan for sure. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. New York City 3D printed on my Ender 3. This is just amazing. I got the file on Thingiverse.com. There are a couple of files actually, so I'll put the link in my video description. But the creator of this file actually made also smaller files of the same of the same print. He calls them tiles. And I think each tile, if you want, can be 20 by 20 centimeters. So you can end up with a huge map of New York City. I think there are like around 12 or 16 tiles. But I printed only one model. As you can see in the picture here, it takes the whole area on the Ender 3 printer. So look at that here. I decided to print in uh, copper, and I'll talk more about that in a few seconds. But look at this here. Very, very nice cityscape of uh, New York City. So when you print something like that, you have basically two big parameters to consider. And one is the scale, and one is the filament. Now, I printed this, like I said, 25% of the total file size, and the print took 16 hours with the parameters I put here at the bottom of the screen. So 25% is what uh, I did to be able to print it on the Ender 3 printer. If I was doing this again, I think I would, bid, I would print, print it a little bit bigger because you lose resolution. When buildings are too small, as you can see here, you start to lose resolution. And... Um, you, you may have also some stringing effects between the buildings. They're so close. So you'll have to have good settings on your printer to be able to print this without a lot of stringing between the, uh, the buildings. So scale is important and also filament. Like you could, like I did in many cases, like the Parthenon over here, you could print wide and paint, but it's never very realistic. Printing the build, uh, painting each building would take ages. So that, I don't think that would work. So I used copper, and I think it makes for a nice finish, as you can see here. So I think copper is a good choice. I guess you could use gray also, or even white. No, maybe not white. I don't think white would give a good, uh, a good result. So uh, this is a nice uh, project for a 3D printer. And uh, as this was uh, printing, like I said, for 16 hours, I did the uh, research on Wikipedia. Like, I've been to New York City a few times for work, also vacation, like I don't live very far from New York City. And uh, I thought I would just read here one paragraph from Wikipedia. If you know New York City, you don't have to listen. You can just go and have a coffee. <laughs> but listen to that. Um, of course, New York is the largest city in the U.S., population of 8.3 million. But if you include the surroundings, what they call the metropolitan area, it's 23 million people. Let me double check that. Yes, 23 million. So New York is made of four boroughs. Oh, sorry, five. Five boroughs. Brooklyn, Queens, Manhattan, the Bronx, and Staten Island. So they're all joined together in 1898 to form New York City. There are 800 I'm going to repeat that number because you won't believe me. 800 spoken languages in New York City, making it the most linguistically diverse city in the world. Um, as of 2016, 3 million people living in New York were born outside of the U.S. This is, like, amazing. In 2019, New York metropolitan area... Uh, had an estimated GMP of two trillion dollars, not billion, trillion trillion dollars. If New York was a sovereign state, it would have the eighth largest economy in the world. New York is home to the highest number of billionaires of any city in the world. Now, what is interesting also here is the main. Did you know that New York City used to be called New Amsterdam? Yes. New York City traces its origins to a trading post founded by colonists from the Dutch Republic in 1624 in Lower Manhattan. The post was named New Amsterdam 
1626. The city and its surroundings came under English control in 1664 and were renamed New York after King Charles II of England granted the lands to his brother, the Duke of York. Uh, New York was the capital of the U.S from 1785 until 1790 and has been the largest city in the u.s since 1790 and it goes on like this and one more thing in 2019 i didn't know that 2019 new york was voted the greatest city in the world per a survey of over 30,000 people from 40 cities worldwide city citing its cultural diversity i mean you cannot beat that 800 languages in one single city three million people born outside the usa living today in new york city uh, that's cosmopolitan for sure so again here great project if you do this guys remember right scale important uh, be careful about stringing and choose it choose the color of your choice but i think bronze not bronze sorry copper i think copper in this case here i think it did a um, a very good uh, very good print and i'm not going to waste my time trying to paint uh <laughs> more than 50 uh, buildings so um so losing my voice here i'm so excited so thank you guys for watching i hope to see you soon on my channel have a great day goodbye